choices, but I think I'm going to plant the strawberry seeds because they're my favorite. So yummy! Now, which gloves should I wear to work in my garden? The blue gloves or the green gloves? Awesome! I am going to wear the green gloves, just like my growing garden will be. Now, I have one more choice to make. Should I use this planner or should I use that planner? What shape is this planter? That's right, it's a circle. Can you tell me what shape is that planter? That's right, it's a rectangle. So what do you think, this one or that one? Great! I'm gonna use the circle one. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Luca. Who? Who? Planting a little garden, are you? I am, Ollie. We had so many choices to make, but the garden is gonna be great. Making choices is hard, it's true. But God loves you and knows what's best for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hello, friends. I'm Aisha. 
Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Today, we have two specials to choose from. Do you want to see? Ta-da! <laughs> you can choose from this chocolate cupcake or that vanilla cupcake. Which one would you choose? This one or that one? It's a tough choice, isn't it? Well, today our story is all about choices. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible begins in the very beginning when God created the world and everything in it. God made a big, beautiful world and saw that it was good. <laughs> Can you give the world a thumbs up like this? Now say, that's good. That's good. Yes. God made the water and trees and animals and people. And the very first two people God made were named Adam and Eve. God told them to take care of the big, beautiful garden he had made. Everything there was perfect because God made it. Give it two more thumbs up. Yes, <laughs> amazing. The garden was full of trees with yummy food to eat. God told Adam and Eve they could eat from any tree but one. God said, don't eat from this one. Well, one day a snake told Eve to eat the fruit God said not to. Should Eve eat the fruit? Or should Eve do what God says? What do you think she should do? Well, let's see what Eve did. No, she ate the fruit. Was that the right choice? No. Then Eve went to Adam and asked him if he wanted to eat the fruit. Now Adam has the same choice, eat the fruit or do what God says and don't eat the fruit. What should Adam do? Well, let's see. Oh no, Adam ate the fruit. Uh-oh, Adam and Eve made the wrong choice and now they have to leave the garden. But even though they had to leave the garden, God took care of them and gave them what they needed. Did God still love them? Yes, <laughs> Adam and Eve learned that they should have done what God said because God knows what's best for them. And guess what? God loves you and me too. And God knows what's best for us. <laughs> did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who knows what's best for you? God knows what's best for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who knows what's best for you? God knows what's best for me. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God knows what's best for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Adam and Eve had a choice to make, and they learned that God knew what's best for them. And now, we know that God knows what's best for us, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Now, which watering can should I use to water my seeds? The big one or the little one? I think I'm going to use the little one. See you next time. God knows everything. First John three twenty. God knows everything. First John 3.20.